Thank you so much for joining us now at 8.21. We're just minutes away, apparently, from the first ULA launch of the year. Our Greg Colon is joining us right now from the Space Coast. Greg, it's been a few minutes. We've been on standby. It looks like it's a go. Almost an hour and a half late. Yeah, it's but it's nice and dark now. So windows. They, uh, they It'll be good they to watch. Issues. Not a they cloud in the sky. Work through those issues and get through that time and still be able to launch successfully. So ULA had an issue uh, with the TDRS satellite. That's the NASA TDRS satellite that controls the telemetry of the rocket. They were having problems with connectivity with that. They were able to reestablish that connection and everything is good to go now. Earlier we had an issue with a helium uh, problem with the first stage. That was resolved during the window as well. Now we're looking at 826 for the launch of this uh, powerful Delta IV rocket from Space Launch Complex 37 here at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Uh, the team polled just a moment ago. That's the first poll we've had uh, of this launch. So with the uh, all go on all consoles, so things looking good for this launch here in about four minutes or so. The built-in four-minute hold should be uh, coming off here any second now so they could go ahead and continue with this countdown and launch now uh, at 826. 6 p.m. The goal of this uh, Delta IV is to uh, help out the Air Force. They have a WGS-10 Boeing-built satellite that will enhance military communications for the U.S. and our allies across the globe. We have some video uh, that we're going to show you. and uh, Space the News. we got nice clear also, skies. Uh, we're also running about an hour and a half uh, late. That, uh, is going to be going up and helping our military. They've had an hour and a half of delays here. Avoid being jammed by enemies. But uh, we should see those four booster rockets. It's falling off now, again, it, especially the, at night Delta here. Four, which it's nice and dark there. now, so we'll be able to follow sure this. That Delta IV uh, is indeed very powerful. You have the main core booster. You also have the four uh, solid rocket motors that are strapped to the side. This is a whopper, about 2.5 million pounds of thrust. The uh, SRMs, they'll be jettisoned about a minute 45 seconds after liftoff. And uh, you Should might be able, be able to see them, see them falling the back. The motors will be uh, burned out, so it might be difficult to see now that we are truly uh, in a night launch situation. The satellite will be released uh, up in orbit about 30 six minutes after launch so uh, again things looking good so far uh, for this uh, the team working through a couple of issues but using uh, the time uh, for uh, the uh, during this window to resolve some of the issues that have popped up. You know, we see this uh, typically with launches. Sometimes we have some problems like they did with the first stage booster. Uh, and then again, the connectivity uh, with the TDR satellite. So these are unfortunately very common things that can happen uh, during a rocket launch uh, countdown. So the team definitely working through that at this point. So we've got just, just about two minutes now to the scheduled launch of this uh, Delta IV. You know, at Launch Alliance, uh, bringing this out and uh, really hoping to get this uh, off the ground. The weather not looking good for the next uh, couple of days or so. So uh, again, uh, they're hoping to go ahead and get this uh, night launch, a Friday night lights, if you will, uh, going and, and uh, get this uh, Delta IV up to space to get the mission to deliver uh, this uh, communication satellite for the United States Air Force. I'm going to step aside. Got about one and, minute uh, to launch. To countdown, the United Launch Alliance team are getting ready to launch their powerful Delta IV from the Cape Canaveral Air Force station. 120. What's the use, Arm? count. Stop. T minus one minute. Rock, report range status. Range green. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level.
And we have liftoff with the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-10 mission for the United States Air Force. Okay, let's go out and see what we can see. It's taking off fast. It's taking off real fast. That is very fast. You can see, uh, it looks like uh, you can see those rockets falling off it, yeah. You can see the four booster rockets falling off it now. You can see those booster rockets still tumbling behind it. You're hearing the rumbling from it now. See if the camera's picking up the sound from that. Took off real fast too. By the time I got out here, it was pretty high up in the sky. Just starting to hear it, the, the rumbling stopped from that. And now you just saw it disappear. Looks like one stage might be shutting off and another one will be firing in a minute. And it looks like it's lit the other stage, but now it's far enough away, it's kind of uh, hazy. You can't really see it that well. Okay, so let's go back inside. That's about it out here we're going to see. We're going to go back inside and see what we see on the TV, on the replay. Air Force. So, uh, so far, so good. Mission accomplished. Uh, in about half an hour or so, that's when the satellite will be deployed, and hopefully that will go off without a hitch as well. Sammy, this is what it's all about. The first Space Coast launch for United Launch Alliance of 2019. Many more to come. WDAN Space News. We're excited about it. Back to you. It was well worth the wait. Thank you for that coverage. Right now, everyone at home, perhaps you just tuned in and maybe you caught a portion of it. We want to replay this rocket launch for you so you can see it in its entirety. Three, two, one. And we have liftoff with 
United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-10 oh, mission yeah. for the United States Air Force. That left off the pad because I waited here about this long and I went out there and it was quite high in the sky. That's moving. It's screaming. We're going to have much more on the successful ULA Delta IV launch for you tonight at 10 o'clock. So make WDAN sure that you can Space for launch News. To landing, never Sign it off. Right here on Spectrum News 13. That was cool.